Oceanic and Bell Harbor today. Put this ensemble on, the O4s are out. I don't care, I feel comfortable, I feel lean, I feel versatile, because that's what I am. We adjust, we adapt. Here we're gonna go to the Oceana, so give me two minutes, and I will see you in a second. Thank you. It smells like complete BO in this elevator, and it's not me. Okay. How the hell did you get in here? I don't have time to figure that out right now. How you guys doing? Here it goes, nothing. You wanna go, buddy, or do you mind if I pass? Go ahead after you, please. I insist. So yeah, guys, right now we're going to the Oceana. I hope to God that I brought my extra backup deodorant because things are gonna get messy in here for sure. But yeah, I have a funny story. There's this guy that I follow on social media who's an influencer, and he posted a video on his balcony of where he lived. I found out where he was with some help of a, uh, Mr. Wilkinson. The guy's a stylish guy. So I went to Saks, I bought him a belt, wrote him a handwritten card, said, welcome to Miami, anything you need, real estate related recommendations, restaurants, dealerships, whatever, I'm your guy. And they were like, is he expecting you? I'm like, yes and no, it's a surprise, so please don't. Please don't alarm him. And I have no idea where I'm going to this development right now, so I need my GPS. It's a new development. I actually, I know my whereabouts, but I do need the GPS. But, talk to you soon. got done with the Paramount tour, not the Paramount tour, the Paramount meeting, because we're talking about putting on an event there. Now I'm on my way back and I have no gas. And I have 55 emails that I have to answer. I'm freaking out right now. It's 421. I'm probably going to be working until like 7 tonight, hopefully sooner. Maybe 630. We'll finish up, watch some Formula One. And then we got to finish up the uh, Oceana tour as well. So we're going to do that tomorrow. Probably going to see me in three different outfits in this video, which is, I guess, exciting for you. <laughs> So yeah, stay tuned to yet another one. Guys, welcome back to yet another one. This one's gonna be the best one. I think I say that every time, but guess what? We're talking about a property in Bell Harbor. You know what that means? Wires only, get your checkbook out, okay? And I also wanna comment, Jason Barbero, he just sent a little gear package in, and I had, I'm rocking the gold chain too, okay? We're in Miami, we're rocking the gold chain. So let's get into the Oceana. You wanna talk about exclusivity? Here we go, here goes nothing. So the building features 240,000 square feet of land on five and a half acres, 400 feet of pristine beaches, last undeveloped oceanfront lot in Bell Harbor. This is Miami's most exclusive oceanfront residence. That's bottom line, that's it. Offering views of both the intercoastal and ocean views, nestled in the unique area of Bell Harbor Village. I think the only commercial piece of land in Bell Harbor is Bell Harbor Shops, which is, it's one of the most luxurious malls in the world, definitely in the country. Swiss landscaper who did the landscaping. And then if you see that gold sculpture in the beginning with that little, like it's got like a nice like tunnel feel. I love that. Private restaurant on site. Two clay tennis courts. Clay, you say? <laughs> Spawn fitness center on two floors. Private pools on the upper penthouse units. Storage available for every unit. Bike storage available. Salon for events with full kitchen. Billiard and game room areas. Kids activity room. Library area. Movie and media room. Olympic style lap pool, you say? A lot of these buildings are starting at the low two millions. It's going all the way up to 20. The penthouses and sunny aisles are going anywhere from like 20 to 30 million. The aquiline is going up to 60. That's another piece of art. We're not talking about that. We're talking about Bell Harbor. Let's talk about some of the finishes in the building. We have European natural marble. I think it's Calicata, Calicata, marble countertops, white liqueur, cabinetry, German high-end engineering. German high-end engineering. <laughs> 
top of the line German made Gagneo appliances throughout. My thoughts on this building, this is the guy who likes to go to Monte Carlo, he likes Formula One, the wife likes to spend $30,000 a month at, on her American Express card, her black card at Bell Harbor Shops. This guy drives around in a Rolls Royce, he gets chauffeured. You drink whiskey neat, and you also have $2,000 bottles of wine for lunch. Late 30s, early 40s, there's some 50s in there. You fly private, you have a Gulfstream G550, you have a Cullinan, you also have a Black Badge Ghost that you drive for your daily, and you also order the brand new SF90 Ferrari, and that's coming in next year, but you also paid it all up front in cash. You like to eat at the Surf Club every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night, and your bill is typically anywhere from 300 to 750 dollars but that's no problem because you have a manufacturing company that you deliver products to across the entire country that is gonna conclude this video I hope you guys enjoyed look look like be, let me just be honest even if you don't like real estate maybe you just like me maybe you just want to give back you want to do a good deed just subscribe it doesn't cost you anything you don't have to do anything you don't even have to turn on the notification bell but I know you want to because you watch this far Okay, so turn it on, watch it, and watch the next one, and the one after that, and the one after that. And then, if you really want to support me, buy a piece of real estate from me. No, seriously, guys, thank you again for watching. I appreciate all the love and support, and to the next one. Peace.